Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. I just came back from the gym after a pretty chill day, and today I'm just going to be continuing more of my top ladder push with 3.0 Expo Cycle on Path of Legends Ultimate Champion. I'm currently at about 2600 rating points, p pretty much picking up where I left off in my last top ladder push video. Going to be going for it even higher uh, on Path of Legends today, so I think I'm like top 1.2k in the world or so. It's going to be going for, I guess, about 2750 medals so that i can get closer to 3k because i think my goal this season is going to be 3k anyway we see a mighty um rocket so it looks like log bait i guess i'm just going to knight the back knight the back is honestly a very solid play with this deck because you have the evo knight now i feel like this is definitely the best version of th expo uh, in the current meta because i mean just with the tesla buff and then the knight evo knight as well just going to expo the left by the way because i had a feeling he was going to commit more to my push in the right, just gonna skeletons and log as well actually to take this eye tower out early and possibly get a small lock as we do very nice. So he has to go for like a mighty or actually yeah only mighty because he has nothing else in cycle. I'll just go for a knight and that ability is gonna be okay, but still that's gonna be like two thousand damage. And I can just go for archers late. Don't have to worry about another ability because he just used it. So this is honestly a very good position. Plus he's letting the knight go for some reason. Um, he definitely should have saved that Ice Spirit for defense instead of offense, so I don't know what that was really about, but I'll just activate King off this Firecracker with my Skellies. Okay, well played with that NATO, but I mean, that was another 3 Elixir, so like, I like that was well played, but he's down so much, I'm just going to Expo, and I don't think he has enough for an Inferno Tower, I mean, he literally just spent another 3, I feel like, yeah, he was already so low on Elixir, so, you know, just Elixir counting pretty basic, because he committed so much, and he doesn't have enough for anything, and so now, that's Tower down, and I mean, based on his deck so far, he can't really rocket cycle me out like 3.4k damage, so I think this game is pretty much over. In fact, yeah, I believe he actually gave up, so... Yeah, anyways, it is pretty late at night for me right now, guys, like 10.30pm, so just gonna be a pretty chill, laid-back ladder push with Expo Cycle. Uh, different vibes than normal, I guess, but hope you guys do still enjoy the video, and of course, make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the video. I recently hit 25 or 26k. I actually do need to make a post about my 25k special, even though it's so late. But yeah, I'll be doing that at some point. Anyways, nice free three crown for the first match against like, I don't know what that was like, Muddy Miner Rocket, like some kind of weird log bait, I guess, or I don't know. But either way, that's gonna get me up one top 1k again, 888 in the world. So I'm gonna go for even higher though, probably like top 600 or so. So see you in the next match. All right, guys, our next game against a Chinese player. Gonna give the good luck. See what's up. I recognize the third character. I think that's Mei, but I'm not 100% because it's been a while. Just gonna knight for this ghost. And uh, he's playing. Okay, could be Pekka. Could be a bunch of things, but I'll just expo to find out what he has because I do have a free knight counter pushing. Okay, pump. So, okay, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be three musketeers after seeing the ghost, the bandit, and the pump. Gonna kite this bandit out of expo range with these skeletons, and I'm actually gonna commit to this expo as opposed to fireballing the pump, because I feel like it's a very uh, potent possibility to get a lock here. Yeah, that's going to be a lock right there. And you're going to Ice Spirit? Okay. I thought he was going to go for something else. If I caught that barbell with the Ice Spirit, that would have been much better, but I didn't know he was going to go for that, I guess. I thought maybe he'll go for, like, say, a ranged troop or something that the Ice Spirit could tank for, or say, like, a ghost, and I could cycle back to my knight. Either way, I guess I'll just knight the back again. Goes for a pump. Now, I'm a bit torn here because i could fireball that pump i think i should but i'm definitely down a ton of elixir i mean every time you fireball a pump you're just down one that's just how it goes he already has a pump on the board so yeah it goes 3m when i'm at like seven so i'm down like two and a half already and he has those pumps on the board so i'm actually down like five or six elixir gonna have to pull a crazy defense out right now so defensive expo is gonna be pretty good nice he gets the knight down very late looks like he might not have had enough elixir or either way i'll take it gonna log this back Evo Knight for the two muskies, and then just Ice Spirit to reset this Ram Charge. Evo Knight is going to do a very good job at 1v1-ing those muskies, and then I'll just go for my Archers late for these barbs. And that is going to be a very solid position. I'm actually really happy with how that unfolded, because I'm mean, going to take some damage in the right, but I can take that just fine, uh, considering I was down like at least 7 Elixir, I'd say, after that like pump. If all the pumps were a wash and like all the lead, looks lead finally like quantified into one value, I was definitely down at least like seven, I'd say. So, you know, I definitely take that. I'm just gonna fireball. Yeah, I was just cycling, didn't really want to commit to anything. And I think it's still worth it just to fireball that pump. I'll just Ice Spirit to pressure with these skeletons. He actually does have to respawn, or else that will be some chip, I believe. Yeah, he goes for the ghost. Um, I'll just Debo right now as he goes for the Evo Knight himself. So, 
everyone is running Evo Knight these days, guys, because, I mean, Evo Knight is pretty broken, let's face it. Uh, I believe he, he did get a small nerf, but it wasn't really too big. Like, it was just a small nerf, so... Yeah, I'll... Uh, Knight, Ice Spirit, and then just log for this. Okay, bad log timing, but... I mean, whatever, I guess, Bandit's annoying. I'll Archer's late for that one musky, and then that's going to be a very nice defense. On both sides, we take, like, no damage except for some of the left from the Bandit, but I was already, like down i was already up a lot in the left so i was fine taking that just gonna evo knight and then expo now because i have an evo knight there's no point just sacking my uh advantage and just going for a fireball on that pump in the wrong lane when i do have an evo knight counter pushing so that's why i decided to go in right there gonna log everything to reset ice spirit to reset as well and then skeletons catch this bar barrel gonna keep the pressure up unrelenting right now that's gonna be a lock nope he gets the knight down so well played knight but now he's now back to knight again I can knight for this bandit, and I will definitely expo again. I believe he might be... Oh, he's probably one off an Evo Knight, actually. I don't think he's his next knight's going to be Evo. Could be wrong, though, but I don't think so. I'll just archers for this ram. That's a free log. And ice spirit as well. And catch the barbell with my skellies, too. Just getting very nice defense. And then I'm going to knight myself. I'm actually one off an Evo Knight as well. I definitely think I can expo. This knight archer should kind of correct itself, and archer should go behind. Yep, perfect. So this is going to be a solid expo. Oh, he is back to his Evo Knight. Okay, my bad. But still, you know, this is really not a bad position at all. I'll just split my archers. Hunter comes down. I can log that. I think I will log that. Okay, Barbarrel is going to clip my archers. So, yeah, that's going to be a dead expo. But, I mean, pressure is very solid. Pretty much all I was going for. And I'll go for the Ice Spirit on the Ram to reset the charge. I have to log as well. And this Evo Knight is just paying dividends for me. Look at that, guys. He's, like, going crazy. And I'll just Debo again. Because... He can't really do anything about it, and I can just fireball every single set of two Musketeers at this point, because it's triple elixir. There's absolutely no pump to be worried about, so... And I'm just going to keep cycling my knights to get back to the Evo Knight as well. I'll log this back. Archers, skeletons, catch the barb barrel. Okay, he does get some stuff down in front of that one musky, so I just have to cycle back to a second log for that, which is very easy. And I can actually offensive expo here, but I don't even need to. I'll just defense expo again, because... There's, like, no risk, right? I mean, he has no big spell. So if I just defend perfectly for the rest of the 20 seconds, there's going to be absolutely 0% chance that he even remotely breaks through, if that makes sense. So that's basically what I'm going for. Got a knight for this ghost plus Evo knight. Just t cut everything towards the middle, and then get a fireball down last second just for fun. And that's going to be a very nice win against three musketeers. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this is an interesting matchup. I don't know how to feel about it, but I think if I play perfectly, I should win, because... Um, yeah, pretty much that's just like kind of what you want to do. Uh, just play defensively and abuse defensive expos in bad positions. I saw a comment asking about how to play against pump matchups. Hopefully that, that one helps you out, especially 3M pump. Going to be top 900 now, so not too bad. Oh, never mind, I updated. Okay, guys, final game against Silent. Yeah, I kind of hallucinated because I forgot I was already up one from 2600. So, you know, it didn't update, but I'm at like, I'm one off like top 700 now, I think. So just going to go for another nice win. Uh, he goes Skeleton, so definitely some kind of cycle deck. He's also like 30 or 40 trophies above me, so or medals, so should be decent. Gonna Skeletons for this, whatever, because he's not playing anything. Goes for a Knight. I think it's in my best interest to just let it go and like log. Okay, I'm not gonna let it go anymore. Gonna Knight. Okay, he's playing Fireball. Um, I do get a small lock, which is not bad at all, actually. That's pretty much a fireball's worth of damage. And he has a fire spirit. I think that's a great sign. Like, knight, marcher, skeleton's fire spirit. This looks like some kind of deck without a big spell, if I had to guess. And obviously, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Like, I take that. So, this is looking very nice for me, actually. Um, I'll just split archers again. And then he gives a good game for some reason. Not sure why. Split skeleton's the back. So, he has to respond to the split archers. Goes knight. Gonna expo Tesla in the right, guys, because I have a feeling he has a building in this deck. Like, you know, it looks like a modern wallbreaker deck. So, I'm gonna Tesla. Yup, perfect catch. He goes for the pre NATO on my skellies, but I didn't get them down. Now we'll get them down, and that's gonna be GG, because this knight. Okay, it's gonna tank, but I'm gonna do a little trick, guys. Cut it out of expo range real quick. So, watch this. And as you guys can see, expo retargets. He does not get the Evo Knight back in time, because I cut it out of range, and that is going to be a good game. He was able to get back to the Evo Knight, so, you know, if he got it down in time, that would have been it, but he wasn't ready for the kite out of range. Gonna fireball this real quick as well. Um, he gets the marcher down, but, I mean, damage is done. His tower's at 820, so... Like, I feel like it's either minor wallbreakers or goblin drill, but he just nados my king, so that's gonna be GG. Like, that is already game over, because, I mean, what can he realistically do, right? So, I mean, 
I don't really feel bad. He wasted a night, so I just that's just why I punished. Expo Tesla, pretty niche play, not one I would recommend you guys do. I see lots of people complaining about Expo Tesla first play, or like, oh, Expo's no skill, you just Expo Tesla, but it's actually very tactical, like there. I knew he wasted his night, but he had to respond to the Expo, so he either had to go for a building low, or more likely building on the Expo itself, and so that's why I went for the Tesla up high, instead of just letting the Expo die. Especially because he has like a knight out of cycle, that's like a prime opportunity to break through. So it's essentially like, it's pretty tactical I'd say. And then he went for the pre-nato as well, so say I didn't go for the Tesla, say I went like skeletons or something to predict. He would have caught me with that nato and just full defended, so... Yeah, anyway, he seems to be really mad, so I'll just give the global turn emote and move on. Yeah, he definitely seems mad, but I mean, he wasted a knight, so it's kind of on him, honestly. But we take those, that's going to put me 2700 on the dot, very nice, 760 in the world. Honestly, pretty good stopping point, but I think I want to go for two more, because this has only been like three wins so far, and I definitely want to get more, but yeah. Oh, he was playing Drill, yeah. Makes sense, I guess. Nice win. Alright guys, into our match against another Korean player. Not sure what he's running, just gonna give him the good luck though, and with the starting hand, I will gladly just split Archer's first play, because I can expo next up, depending on what he does. I'm just gonna expo anyways, he goes for the Skelly Drags. Um, looks like Lava. I'll fireball actually, the skelly drag plus barbs. I think that's a worthwhile fireball. I actually missed one barb, so my bad. But yeah, it's whatever. I'll just uh, ice spirit for the loon. Make sure I don't take any hits on my tower, that is. And that's going to be a mini expo lock. Leftly going to be lava loon, because we see the skelly drags, the barbs. I think that's evo barbs in there. And balloon, so. You know, this is one of my best matchups by far, guys. I. I'm sure you've seen countless videos where I beat Lava, probably over a hundred, honestly, where I've beaten Lava in my ladder pushes, so just sit back and watch, because I'm very confident in this matchup. Just going to slip my archers the back again, and I believe he's not back to his barb, so I can actually just expo. Goes eye drag. I'm going to expo same lane, I guess, because if he goes for something, I can get a free fireball. I'll log on the miner. Okay, bad timing, but still a decent log, and he was not ready with the barb, so that's going to be a lock. I'm going to fireball this eye drag plus set of evil barbs to take the eye drag out. Archer plus Fireball does full counter an eye drag as you guys can see. Then I just have to kite these barbs back with my cycle card. So Ice Spirit, Skeleton, because if I let that go, that's way too much damage to take. And now I'm going to be down, I would say, like two or three Elixir. But I already took his tower, so I think that's definitely worth it because I can defend. Okay, I'm down four because he went Lava when I was at six. So that's like a nice Elixir counting tip for you guys. When they go for something in the back, they're usually full Elixir. And I was at six, so you know, just ten minus six is four. I'm down four. But I can definitely defend. I'm going to archers first because he's going to go for arrows in my archers. Okay, going to knight fireball for this uh, set of skeleton dragons. Then he has to respond to the knight too. Or if he doesn't, that's gonna, just going to be some nice damage. And then I can just tesla for this lava after the fact. And okay, he goes for a minor. Pretty aggressive. He could have gone like minor loon opposite. That's a pretty common play as well. But actually would have been a bad play, I guess, because I could have just gone like expo to cut the balloon over into my tesla. Um, I'm just going to expo the same lane. Honestly, I have a Tesla alive, so why not? And if he goes for a Lava Hound, he's going to be screwed. So splits barbs. I'm just going to take the free log on the right and take the tower at, as well while I'm at it. Then just archers for this eye drag skeleton to distract two. And that's actually going to be a lock, honestly, because if he, he goes Lava the back, I don't know what that was about, but that is going to be a lock indeed. I'm just going to go for a Knight and then Tesla, I think. Um, I don't really want to... I was really tempted to expo again, but I don't really want to like play into his stuff yet. Plus, Knight is getting decent damage in the left, like, every time. I just have to defend this, so... I'm gonna go for my Evo Knight for the Miner. Second Tesla for this Balloon opposite lane. And I can just go for a second set of Archers, honestly. Okay, never mind. That's just a free Fireball, like, one of the best Fireballs I've ever had. Like, all Evo Barbs plus the Eye Drag. Like, we take those. So, I won in both lanes, guys. I Let's say we both Tower Traded in the right. I was actually winning in the left as well. So, as I said, I'm pretty good against the Lava matchup. Just... Watch and learn, I guess. But that's going to be 2730, 668 in the world. Oh, one of 669. But I'll go for one more win, guys, and hopefully I can get it. All right, guys, for our game against another Japanese player, you're going to give him the good luck. And this is going to be the final match for 2750, if I can get the win. We see a bandit, so looks like it's going to be Bridge Bam, possibly. Um, or Three Musketeers again. I've actually seen, yeah, I've seen a fair amount of Three Musketeers for some reason. Um, I'll just knight for the bandit, and I can honestly fireball that, or expo. I think I'll take the fireball, just because it's a bit too early to be so aggressive. Plus, he definitely has, like, lots of ways to counter, like, whether he's playing evo knight, or ice golem, like, he's gonna have a way to tank and stall for my expo forever. Anyway, just gonna defensive expo, 
in the right for the two musketeers gets the knight down it's going to stack archers in the left just a free log on the right and then this expo should turn onto the two muskies i'll ice it as well and skeletons for that one uh musketeer and that should be yeah honestly perfect defense like i took one musky hit but i'm in the lead in both lanes and considering that was like kind of a sus situation i'm i take that any day of the week three six eight eight's a pretty nice number as well i feel like that's a very common number i see uh, like an expo matchup so i'm just gonna knight for the bandit and then expo because that was very aggressive bandit i don't know what that was about i guess predicting a pre-tesla or something but like because that that's what the placement tells me but i was not going for a pre-tesla gonna shove my log a little bit lower just for that uh barb barrel then ice pit for the hunter and that's gonna be a lock right there guys because he can't really do anything gets the ghost down all skeletons to stall because i have to go skeletons anyway so definitely worth it just to, to go for that and then just evo knight so he has to respond actually haven't seen a knight or ice golem out of him yet so let's see if he has like oh actually we did see a knight right in that uh musky push so yeah he does have an evo knight himself he cycled two so he's one off his own evo knight as i've said before guys very important to count evo cycle it's something i do all the time because it's not hard at all like you just have to know the amount of cycles it takes with for evo knight it's two so he's already played two so next one's going to be evo very important against like firecracker and rg as well just good to know he lets the expo lock on I don't know why, but I'm going to Ice Spirit to tank for this log as well. And that's going to be tower down because he can't really defend this, honestly. Like, he can try, but it's tower down. Like, just perfect catch on that pump timing with the expo. And I would just have to defend for 40 seconds, which I can easily do. So just going to test the middle. Stack archers. Notice, guys, I'm stacking archers just because I can because he has no spells. Like, he has only, only has a barb barrel. 3M never really runs a big spell. So definitely worthwhile to stack archers in this matchup. Second Tesla is back. And that's going to be, or I don't know if that was the second one, but his center Tesla is back. And that's going to be a very easy defense. I can just stack archers again, to be honest. And then just go back to my knight. I'm back to an even. I'd actually say so that's going to be like a, the freest defense of my life. And then just log on defense too. No point playing too aggro because I can just fireball his tower anytime I want. So there's really no need. I'm just going to fireball right now though, honestly. No need to stall it out. That's just going to be GG. Nice one against 3M again. So this time I played a bit more aggro early on. I was able to get my opponent, so very nice stuff there. Two for two, 100% winner against that matchup so far. Uh, I guess everyone is running Evo Knight in 3M now. That's going to be rank 596 in the world, guys. 2763 medal, so very nice stuff. Honestly, pretty happy. With my progress, I'm like, I'd say like eight, nine games off from 3K, which is going to be my end season goal, so we'll see if I can get it. But, you know, so far, very happy, very pleased with these games. Beat 3M twice in a row as well, so if you guys need any help with that matchup just take a look i guess and as i said lava i'm very good at that one so that's gonna be for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed take care and i will see you in the next one